This is the six hundred dollar dinner. I still pray to God, but these are different type of Christians. My slippers money look like I'm gonna steal your Christmas. My entire closet look like his entire wish list. YouTube back with another video. This video I'm gonna teach y'all how to market y'all club mount Instagram. I really don't wanna waste no time. I'm gonna say what I gotta say real quick and then just get straight to the marketing part because like this is my specialty marketing on Instagram. I'm gonna try not to talk fast this video because it's got a lot of information I gotta break down to y'all this video. So if I talk fast, I apologize. Before I get to the video, close the brand community, the Discord is in the description, along with my ebooks, Instagram ad tutorial, manufacturer, the manufacturer I work with, and one of the manufacturers I'm currently working with is in that ebook. And keys to having a successful clothing brand is like a mindset ebook. All them ebooks are in the description, along with my premium membership Discord, all that stuff is in the description. You can check all that stuff out in the description if you would like. I'm gonna continue dropping these free game videos until my book comes. I have been waiting like three weeks for my book. It was like a flood over there in that area, so my book got delayed. And you know, bro, them chargebacks start hitting. Ain't gonna lie, I got some chargebacks. And let me tell you, I'm gonna win them all because I be winning my chargebacks. I, don't, I know how to win chargebacks. Basically, when they charge back, there's no point. I don't know why they charge back. You gonna, you gonna receive your product. I already got the tracking numbers, all that stuff, all the labels. I already got all that stuff printed out. Just waiting on my book to arrive. It's supposed to arrive Monday or Tuesday, but this video probably gonna be out on Monday because I'm recording it on a Saturday right now. That's enough talking, enough yapping. We finna get straight into the real yap session, which is how to market your clothing brand on Instagram. You probably wanna grab like a notebook or something because this is gonna be like a real informational video. I'm, I'm gonna give y'all my strategy along with the other few tips and stuff. Without further ado though, let's get into the video. Before I get into the Instagram part of the video, I just want to say make sure y'all have like some sort of SMS connected to your Shopify. I use Postscript. I highly recommend Postscript. This video is not sponsored, but I highly recommend Postscript because like it's easier to set up all the automations, all that stuff. Everything is smooth. I've been using Postscript since like January. Yeah, I switched to Postscript in like January from Clavio. Ain't nothing wrong with Clavio. It's just like that monthly charge and stuff. I wasn't really messing with it. I highly recommend Postscript because that's what I use. So yeah, make sure you got the SMS portion set up and make sure it's like verified so people can start signing up for your SMS list. Now dive into the Instagram part of marketing. On Instagram, I highly recommend marketing for about one to three weeks. Now, the only reason I say this is because I tested my theories and like my time periods of dropping and stuff on Instagram. I highly recommend like two to three weeks. That one week mark is like if you already got a community and stuff and you could just like drop back to back. That's the only reason why I do one week. But yeah, I used to do one week because I'm going to drop like new products and stuff. I'm going to start going back to like the two to three week mark so I can effectively market how I need to market. But the one week is just like you post and then you send an SMS message out and let people know the product is available. But yeah, I highly recommend two to three weeks. If y'all see me looking down a lot, just know my notes right here. So like I'm reading off my notes. Now diving more into the pictures, we got your own body pictures and your flat lay slash ground pictures. Your flat lay slash ground pictures, they should obviously be like aesthetically clean. Like some type of aesthetic is going on in the background. Like clear background, smooth background, smooth concrete or something like that. No cracks, no wrinkles or nothing in the clothing. And if you do have wrinkles, because I know some of y'all when y'all get y'all samples, y'all want to instantly go take pictures. Highly recommend just throwing your clothing in a dryer on like wrinkle free or something like that. And then yeah, you get the wrinkles out. Flat leg pictures. I'm gonna throw some pictures up right here. Aesthetically clean. It's like aesthetic going on, clear background. People like to see like the clean aesthetic on Instagram. They don't want to see like pictures of your stuff on the carpet, on the ground, like at home type photos i mean that probably could work but like i'm saying this like if you want to take this stuff seriously you have to come out some clean some different and just stand out from the other person and to take pictures you do not need a camera you use your iphone i use the iphone 13 and that's how i get all my pictures crisp and clean and one thing i do recommend is just wiping your camera off before you start taking pictures i wipe my camera off with my shirt every single time taking pictures because the lens would be a little foggy just wipe your lens off with your shirt or something and you should be good but yeah flat lay pictures take a whole bunch of flat lay pictures from like different angles like side angles i'm, I'm gonna throw examples up for everything and like what they're called whatever we got like your side angles you're like just on top angles and all that type stuff there's a whole bunch of different angles you can take pictures make sure they're like real aesthetic real clean all that type stuff i'm gonna give y'all like two places to find these type of backgrounds and we got your parking garages and your freshly built buildings where i took my pictures at it was at a library the library is like freshly built so i just go there take my pictures and I do use Photoshop a little bit just to like get the cracks out. Like you have like a little bit of cracks, you can take them out on Photoshop, that's what I did. Like I said, parking garages, freshly built buildings. Next thing we're gonna talk about is Instagram Reels. I'm not gonna lie, Instagram Reels have been going crazy. Like I've been seeing a whole bunch of clothing brands hop on Instagram Reels because of how crazy they've been going, including myself. My Reels have been going stupid ever since like everybody been hopping on them. Some key things I wanna point out with Instagram Reels, you really have to have like quality content. Quality content means like you really gonna have to go outside and get your content. But really to put, in order for your Reels to blow, you have to do like quality content and quality content involves you going outside now going outside it doesn't mean it's like going outside your house and all that type of stuff i mean like go into like 
a city or something like that with a whole bunch of buildings and all that type of stuff. So for instance, if I was doing Instagram Reels, like if I was doing Instagram Reels right now, I'll probably go somewhere like downtown with a whole bunch of buildings, do normal downtown things basically while showcasing my product. So I'll probably go lean up against like a luxurious looking building or something and get all the angles of my product and all that type of stuff. This is what I mean by like quality content going outside. You could do reels such as like packing orders behind the scenes and them type reels, but like I wouldn't really recommend that if you're trying to like push out your product. You're most likely like a new clothing brand trying to get yourself out there. I recommend just going to the city, showcasing your product downtown, find like a good building, luxurious building. Also with Instagram reels, I would say mix in flat lay videos and on body videos into your reels. I see those type of videos do real good. Basically a flat lay video, you just recording your product on the ground and then like on body video basically what it looks like on body but on body videos you got to make sure your angles and all that stuff right you can't just do like the straight directly in front of you camera type angle you got to go from the side both sides or whatever like you got to get the right angle y'all can literally go on instagram like if you have a clothing brand you can literally go to reels right now and if you start watching reels pretty sure clothing brand reels gonna pop up because that's what happens on my clothing brand account I see other clothing brand reels and they go viral. Basically, just copy their content, add it with your product, add your own twist, copy their content. If it works for them, it most likely will work for you. But it's other stuff that plays a factor into all that, like sounds, hashtags, the type of bio, copyright, and all that type of stuff. But yeah, make sure y'all stay on trend the sounds. And another thing I've noticed with Instagram Reels, the sounds that are viral on TikTok, they most likely haven't made this Instagram Reels. So you can take the viral sounds from TikTok, add them onto your Instagram Reel, and you will probably get a whole bunch of views because I've done that before. It's worked for me. I see a lot of clothing brands doing that too because they haven't. Bro, Instagram Reels really like late to everything. I don't know why. Now that we got that out the way, I'm going to get out my Instagram marketing strategy and how I use Instagram to market the first thing I do is I post the on-ground picture of my product this is like two weeks prior to drop day I post the on-ground photo of my product and I use an Instagram boost I boost that for like a week if y'all want my Instagram boost strategy it's in the description but a lot of stuff plays into just Instagram boost like the pictures I'm telling you that's why I say you have to take clean aesthetic pictures copyright and all that stuff plays a matter into Instagram boost what I do is post that first picture two weeks prior to drop day then I boost that for like a week I think I do like 20 to 30 dollars a day boost that for like a week and now you got these people coming every single single day from the Instagram boost. Now, with these people coming in from the Instagram boost, you wanna make sure you have like links like all over your page. Something I would recommend is going into Postscript, generate a link for your SMS list, put that link in the bio of your Instagram. Where the website goes, put that in the bio of your Instagram until drop day. Then post like an aesthetic picture on your Instagram story. Like I said, I'm gonna put a picture right here, see right here that I have the link and it's very clean and aesthetic. So yeah, you got new people coming in every single day. So you wanna make sure you have a story on your website every single day. It's new people every single day. That's new eyes every day. New people that could join your SMS list every single day i will have a story every single day leading up to drop day while the boost is running i'm also posting reels for natural organic content you can boost reels if you like the only thing i recommend boosting on reels is the reel that's performing the best organically that's the only reason i will boost a reel if it performed good organically but like when that second week come around i will post like probably like some on body photos something like that people can see how it look on body i'll probably boost that too just to get more eyes like the more the more eyes the more potential sales you have make sure you have like your SMS link in your Instagram bio or like on the story every single day. New eyes are coming every single day from Instagram, but you're gonna be gaining followers, SMS signups, likes, comments, all that stuff is gonna be rolling in every single day. And also continue posting reels. But when that third week come around, it's like drop week. Now drop week, I will post like some real good pictures, probably like some photo shoot type pictures, and I will boost that probably too. I haven't really been a fan of just like boosting on drop day. I would like look at my past boost results. So the two posts that I did leading up to drop day, I will see which one performed the best. And I would just boost that one again just to get more eyes, more people coming. That third week, I'm trying to get like, trying to maximize my sales on that third week because it's like game times, like the game week. Another thing I recommend is like influencer story promo. Fashion influencers only though. Fashion influencer story promos, I highly recommend that because they in the fashion niche. But more eyes equals more sales. That's what I want to say. And don't be afraid to put money into your brand. Scare money don't make money. In order to have like a real brand, you're gonna have to put some money into your brand. Whether it's the ads, samples, something like you're gonna have to put money into your brand because my brand would not be where it's at right now if I wasn't putting money into it. I can't do all this organically. My brand, I mean, I probably could, but like, I, it probably would take longer. That's really how I market on Instagram. The first week, posting on ground pictures while uploading reels, and I'm doing Instagram boost. Second week, probably some on body pictures, still posting reels, Instagram boost that post. Third week, drop day post. But to shorten it, you can really do two weeks, flat lay pictures on the ground type pictures, and then on body post. That's how I used to do it. That used to work out real good. Two weeks, I say, is like that sweet spot. Three weeks is like if you really want to maximize, like, really maximize your stuff. Find a way to put all the traffic towards your SMS list, because SMS list 
is really important. People are more responsive to a text message nowadays rather than just an email. Highly recommend an SMS list. But that's really all I got for this video. How to market your brand on Instagram. But I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. I'm out.